This is going to be a quick video tutorial on ImageNomic Portraiture. I'm going to go Filter, ImageNomic Portraiture. Now, when you look down the left hand side, you're going to see all of your main settings right here. I'm going to make life a lot easier for you. The first thing you're going to do is turn off the enhancements. However, there may be some off chance that you want to use these with some batch functionality or setting this program up to work as an action. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to straight up turn this off. Next, here we have a skin tone mask. And basically, it's going to create a mask around just the skin tones. To begin this video, I'm actually going to turn that off. And that's narrowing this program down to a single dialog box up here called Detail Smoothing. Fine is going to focus on the absolute details of the pores, the wrinkles, and the immediate area around those minute details. And we don't actually want to lose that fine detail. So we're going to take this fine and move it all the way down so that it's minus 20. Then we have medium. Now medium is a slightly larger area than that. The best setting that seems to work is zero. And the last setting that we're going to change is going to be large. Large is the general area around pores and the wrinkles and everything. It's not the immediate area, it's just the general area around that. So we're going to take that and we're going to make that very, very large. Threshold is simply a slider that says more of the effect or less of the effect. So let me zoom in for you. Right now, threshold is set to zero, which means absolutely nothing is happening right now. This is the original image. If I take threshold and I move it all the way up to 40, you can see what a huge difference that is making to this image. Now here's the thing, more than likely you do not want a threshold of 40 because it really is too much in many cases. Consider cutting it in half to 20. So yeah, at 20 it softened up her skin and it's looking pretty good. You know, when you look in this area, that's not bad. However, you might be saying to yourself that you can see this affecting the hair as well. Yeah, but why do you want the hair to be contrasted? You probably don't. So what I would actually recommend is to leave it just like this, where it does affect the hair. So maybe you don't want the effect as strong as this, with this threshold of 20 that's affecting the hair like this. But maybe all you need to do is reduce this from 20 down to 10. Now it's a much more subtle effect. Just because this program will do massive changes does not mean that you need to do the massive changes. At its core, all you should be using portraiture for is subtle changes. Let's take it from 10 down to 5. Does that work for you? Yes or no? If you still think it looks too pasty, so then drop it down to 3. It's a very subtle change and it doesn't need to be overkill. You don't need to make this look like you've put all this extra work into it. All you're trying to do is clean up the skin quickly and efficiently. Now technically, if you wanted to make a slightly larger production about this, we could bring this threshold back up to 10 and let this skin get too much in the neck and the cheek and then create a mask within Photoshop which will then dim back these two particular areas or simply remove this area completely from the portraiture effect. If you come over here to her arm, you can see how much of that is just being wiped away. Now there are larger areas and that is where you would use your clone stamp or healing brush. The beauty of this program is to dial it back softly so that you can do batches and large amounts without making too much of a production about it. If you found this video tutorial review helpful, please go to www.theartofretouching.com where you can find more tips and tricks to make you a better photo retoucher.